there you are. Let's get her loaded up and let's go play with some poles today. Eh? I gotta deliver those guys into Winnipeg and then I have two loads of new poles to deliver. Let's get going. <sighs> Oh, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I guess I should get my key out. Get that ready, there we go. Get all of this here. That, that, I'll come back for all that stuff. Good morning, you beautiful beast. You and I are going trucking together today. We got some action going on here though, look at this. Oh, there's a van in the ditch. How'd you get in there, bud? What'd you do? Oh, there's some skid marks here. Oh, man. Three, two vehicles involved. Yikes. Oh, that's a bad, bad Friday. That'll ruin your day. But hey, look at it. Look at it on the bright side. Doesn't look like anybody was killed. I hope that nobody had any in, any injuries or serious injuries. And uh, look on the bright side. Somebody's getting a new vehicle on the road to Portage La Prairie. Look at us go. Got a load of poles behind us now, and we're heavy. Super fat. Going down highway number two, because where I picked up these poles just sort of made sense to go around this way. This truck ride's pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. But with a heavy load like this on, it's not too bad. But when you're empty, man, seriously, you gotta wear your seatbelt so you don't get thrown out. Especially if you got the windows down. So I should be arriving there, it's before 1.30 now, I should be arriving there around two o'clock. I'll have two and a half hours to get all these poles off my trailer. That should be, should be enough time. And then it'll be time to go home for the weekend. Next week we'll be back in my regular truck, I'm pretty sure. The guy who's usually in this truck is on holidays this week. That's why I'm uh, filling in for his thing. But they are supposed to be putting me in this truck uh, a couple of times a month or something like that. Just so that my, I don't lose my skills. Cause you know, if you, if you learn new skills and you get new skills, uh, you gotta use them. If you don't use them, you lose them. So a couple of times a month or so we'll be in this, but there's a regular driver that's usually, uh, usually in this taking care of all the poles and stuff. somebody to talk to make sure I put these poles in the right piles just double check I'm getting a little better at just figuring out which one they belong in already but oh yeah this is that tight entrance I've been here before Just barely squeak in here. Just barely. 
like a glove. And there's my piles of poles back there. Looks like that one guy is parked right in where I'm gonna need to be. Right there. Let's go find someone to talk to. Pretty sure they're gonna need to move that truck for me. Just like I thought, he's gonna move that truck over there. And then my 45s go on that stack beside him to the left of it, and all the rest, the 40s, and when I go on the other pile over there. So it'll be pretty simple once we get going. Uh, I'm gonna have to rush through this. The time is now two o'clock. I've got two and a half hours to get in there, get set up, get unloaded, get cleaned up, and get out the gate so that they can lock the gate at 4.30. So uh, that's, that's just enough time. Just enough time as long as we don't hit any major issues or problems, which a major issue at this point would be hydraulic, a big hydraulic leak on the crane or something. Me hurting myself, and that's not gonna happen. So yeah, in a minute, I'll get in there and uh, we'll get to work. And then, and then the most important part. You ready? And then we go home for the weekend. All right, so the wind is sort of coming from that direction. So I wanna make sure that when I'm up on the crane, I'm out of the wind. I mean, that I'm not going to be right in the path of my exhaust. Man, they always make these things so tight and hard to get into. Okay, so my 45s are going right here. My 40s are going right there. All right, that was much easier than that other one the other day. Much easier. Because they didn't have a utility trailer parked in my way here. That helps. Okay. Back her up. Banker. Let's go see if I'm happy with that. Okay. Boy, I'm not picking up scrap today. I already asked, not picking up scrap. <laughs> I wanna make sure I can reach it with the crane. I can't reach that far all the time. So 35s are going here. Yeah, I'm gonna come back a little bit further so that my crane is about right here. So that I'm not reaching to set them down so far. Little bit further. There you go, I think that'll be better. about right. Let's just take a look at the other side. So once I get myself set up, it's a lot of work to move again. The train comes down and it sets it down right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with this. All right, let's set her up. Get the PTO going. PM's up. Turn the crane on. Grab 
grab our gloves. These are the old ones. The new ones, all my organized chaos in here. It's not really as messy as it looks. Uh, I know exactly where everything is. Got my hard hat right there. I'll grab it from the other side. Safety glasses. Out. We got the dolly pads there and ready and waiting. Got the straps off of the load. Get our captain's chair ready here. Get this out of the way. Make sure I don't let that bungee fall. Okay. thing going. First things first, let's put our feet down. That one down there. This foot down. That'll stabilize us. Okay. There we go. Five, 45 footers there. We got all of the 40 footers on the other side of me over there. We are done. Done, done, done. I've already got my directions for Monday. But before Monday, we're going to enjoy the weekend. I'm going to head back to work now, park this bad boy, this bad girl, however you want to see it. Clean her all up so that the next driver, when he comes back in on Monday, has a nice clean truck full of fuel. I'm not going to think about work for a couple of days. How about that? And a side note, it's now four o'clock exactly. When did we get here? Just at two o'clock, right? So it took two hours, a half hour less than last time. So I'm getting more efficient. It's good. All right, let's uh, get ourselves out of here without pulling down this gate on our way out. That was not designed with a 75 foot unit in mind. But it works. It works. Why change it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it's not broke. Because I didn't break it, so it's not broke. I'll have to wait till someone drags their trailer over the fence. <laughs> it won't be me, I'll tell you that much. All right. Let's go home. Oh, we'll stop for fuel first. We used a quarter tank of fuel today. Ooh, this thing is a piggy. It's a big pig. It's not just a regular pig, not a run of the mill pig. This is a special pig. It's a big fat pig. Eats a lot. Oh, don't put that on my sunglasses. There you go. All right. Oh, 
boy, I'm gonna have to get aggressive here. Oh man, and the Cadillac came in. Oh, I should've, oh, I should've gone. I'm too nice. Way too nice. Maybe if I roll my windows down, people will see me and they'll feel sorry for me. They'll leave me a spot. No. Okay, these three vehicles here. And after that SUV right there, I'm giving her. I've made up my mind. No more Mr. Nice Guy. train crossing way up there. So Portage La Prairie here is actually a pretty historic town in Manitoba. A lot of history here. A lot of things went down back when. Different history than Steinbeck. Steinbeck we have our own history. <laughs> because we are different than any other part of the province except for like the Winkler area. We have a Mennonite, German, Dutch, Russian, or I guess Prussian history, Ukrainian. Yes. It's gonna be a little while. Well, it was a fun couple of days. But the weekend's here now, and it's time to go home. These two straps here are, are ripped, damaged, unsalvageable. Uh, where's this one? Let's see, this one's got a rip and is right by the hook. Gotta throw these out. Those six are from another driver who left a load strap down for me. Gotta return those straps to him. I saw his truck in the shop. So I'm gonna go and just throw them, throw them in there for him so he's got them first thing Monday. And then we will go and enjoy a wonderful, wonderful weekend. All right guys, you did good, farewell. Thank you for your service. One more. You may be battered and bruised, but you lived a good life. Thank you for your service. All right, you six are still in good shape. I gotta bring you back to your rightful owner. Because I actually do that. Unlike a lot of people who just keep them. Not naming any names or anything, but you know who you are. <laughs> Stop taking our straps and keeping them. Make sure I don't hit anything here. Those straps actually went to the driver who's in my old truck. There's my old truck. And surprise, surprise. The shop is working on it. <laughs> you don't say that old Volvo's in the shop again? Huh? I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed that is so unusual. That is so unusual. <laughs>